what do you want to know, man? <laughs> he's, he's the craziest dude I've ever met. I'll give, you, I'll give him that hands down. He thinks about like one thing, you know, all the time. He's bettering himself all the time. You see him learning new things every day. Anyone need deodorant? <laughs> <laughs> I was born and raised in New Jersey, which you wouldn't really think fly fishing would uh, he pushed on me as a kid, but it really was. Um, my grandfather bought me a fly rod from Dick's Sporting Goods when I was six years old. And um, after that, kind of just clicked and I kind of just fell in love with just fighting fish on a fly rod. And it was just a lot cooler than the old way of fishing, which I was just throwing bait in the surf and stuff like that for stripers. And I mean, it opened up a whole new world for me. My buddies were always just flabbergasted at the fact that I fished all the time instead of going out with them to parties. It's nuts. It's nuts. The best fisherman I've ever met, ever, ever. Yeah, but strictly fly fishing. If you put a bait caster in his hand, dude, like Joe Schmo over here could catch as many, you know? And, but as soon as you talk about fly fishing, it's, he understands insects to a new level. Oh, Jake Flood. Okay, so watching him fish and how passionate he is about it and how like, you know, like he's a walking encyclopedia of knowledge when it comes to insects and imitations and, you know, techniques and stuff like that. It's, it's, there's nothing else on his mind. Um, it, you know, it, it's intensity to the max. Um, he's, you know, thinking about, okay, what's this fish gonna eat? Wow, what's the best way I can present this fly? Go back left now, 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 now. Right there, yep. You know, what are the colors? What's the weather like? How much wind is there? What's the sun doing? Um, he's in tune with all of these things when he's dialed in. It's all about the fish, but at the same time, it's not about the fish. It's about being out there and fishing. It's about the act of getting up early in the morning and going out there and being yourself and working your butt off. And you know, that, that's what really, really, really means a lot to me from him. They, I just fell in love with it off the start, just showing them uh, why I loved it. And getting them on fish was just as cool as me catching a fish. I love to guide for that reason. It's just a never ending learning curve of fishing and teaching people is something I've really, I've thought about being a teacher for a little while, like studying uh, education science and stuff. And, um, I mean, this is just the lifestyle for me. I love to fish and I love to teach. So the whites are really cool fishery. Um, it's tough. You gotta cover a lot of water, um, but the reward is just unmatched. Um, but it's just not like Western fishing. And uh, it's a special place due to the fact that there's so many fish above that two foot mark here. You literally have a chance of catching a two foot brown, which is the $10,000 fish every day out there. It's been fished the same way for years. and We've been fishing a little bit differently than they have and um, it's been paying off pretty good. Everyone he works with, everyone he's around, it's, he is obsessive. He's, he's a freak. He's a freak, man. He's, he knows everything. Every, he can read water like nobody I've ever seen. He is a dog. <laughs> He is, I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> a dog in the best way and the worst way. No. no. I don't think I'll ever leave this place. Uh, there's too much potential here. We're going to be on this river for a long time.